Hey everybody, uh, it's me, Josh, and I'm back again. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I got this weekend while going to yard sales and estate sales. Um, yeah, some of the stuff is for me, some of it's for a friend of mine. Um, I'm not going to say his name because it's private, but it's for him. So, on with the show. Okay, so angle this down here so this is for my friend I got a seven pound bag of assorted Barbies this one is just your bargain basement ballet doll that came out like 10 15 years ago hard leg and you got old brats no feet old brats Brat's Kids, Random Barbie Head, Old School Rubber Leg Barbie, Hashtag Bring Back the Rubber Legs Mattel, and check out that Barbie fashion from the 80s. I don't know if this is a real Barbie fashion, or if it's just a knockoff. It doesn't look like a Barbie fashion, there's no Barbie tag, but check it out. How spacey is that? Very Barbie esque. Then we have this weird one with the really close together eyes. And then there is this Barbie that I she's supposed to do something. I don't know what, because she's got some hair on her, but alright, I'll show you what the weird part is. She's got a battery pack and then these two little holes. No clue what she does. Another Bratz. Bratz. Oh, look, a Bratz. Oh, a Cheetah Girl doll. Of, it's supposed to be that of Raven Simone. Again, celebrity doll. I would be so pissed if I were Raven Simone. I know she, she's a bit thicker. But look at the, the, the difference between her arms and her body. Thick body. Kind of weird, sh weird shaped breasts. Ugh. And you have to have be a bodybuilder to bend her legs. And look how thick she is. See, Lamely? This is how you make a thicker doll. Uh, this brat has her shoes, her dress, everything, and eyelashes. One of the 12 Dancing Princess character Barbies. Oh, look, a Bratz doll. Oh, look, another Cheetah Girl doll. A Bratz, a Bratz. Uh, this is the old Miko head, but this is from the California, from the, like, I think early 2000s, California dolls. You can tell by the tan. Rubber legs. This is before they gave the Barbie the duck foot. And then we have 12 Dancing Princess character. Oh, and a Bratz. And then... Um, I cannot remember what these are called off the top of my head, but it's Liv, Liv dolls. Wig, everything, um, is in sad, sad, some sad shape. So those are the dolls I got my friend that he's going to fix up and do whatever he wants with them because they are for him. And this whole bag, I think, set me back, I think it was like under under five, under five bucks. So there you go, buddy, that's for you. The other doll I got is Edna Modes. For those of you who don't remember, I got this, well, this Edna is from The Incredibles movie. Uh, she does not have batteries in her. I don't think she does. No, no batteries. But this Edna, very rare. It's from the Incredibles movie. She does talk. I had one before. She would say, like, hello, my name is Edna Modes. She has articulated wrists, elbows, and she has a weird little body. There's her body. 
this is how she sits, and her leg does turn from side to side. So there's Edna. She just that's as far back as her legs go. So I got it, Edna. And then I got Blue from uh, Tailspin. His head moves, arms move up and down, and his legs move up and down. This poor guy is in some rough shape. He's got scratches all around here, some sticky goo right there because I haven't had time to clean him, and he's missing some chunks of skin on his nose. Okay, let's see what's in the big bag. All right, we have Monster High Dolls. We have another Monster High doll. Put those in the collection. We, oh, we got a strawberry shortcake. Straw, uh, the Wonderful World of Strawberry Shortcake. Life is Berry Delicious. Uh, mini vinyl playset figure display case with some minifigs. There's a little baby strawberry. There's a little cherry tart, strawberry on a skateboard, another cherry. Uh, there's raspberry. And then they all have pegs in here so you can pose them and shut it up. And I know it's missing the handles on the door and whatnot. So I got that. And I got... This, Diva Stars, for when they swapped them out and gave them Barbie bodies. Uh, let's see, I don't think she talks anymore. Her batteries are dead. But they used to talk and her lips would light up. These ones are the ones without the blinking eyes. Pop on shoes, Barbie body. Her shoes unlock like well, they would unlock. <laughs> oh, there we go. Shoes unlock, so she's got, like, flat foot in there. And then they just lock up. And this dress is going to go on a Barbie, I think, because I do like this dress a lot, and I think it would look good on a Barbie. So that's coming off of her and going on to another doll. I got her. And then... What else is in here? We got... This little girl, also from, it's the Frightmares from Monster High. And then, got this little nightmare baby. It's the chatty, ba tiny chatty baby. Who is mute and dirty as hell. sounded really good didn't it so those are some of the things I found at some yard sales and estate sales this last weekend um, I wanted to share them with you guys and show off a bit because you know what person doesn't like to show off their their new finds and their hobby so I wanted to do that real quick like came or they I luckily have found this big Disney bag that I now store like when I go shopping and thrift topping thrift stores and yard sales I take this big bag with me so I can just load up everything I need and everything I want and it's good to go and it's really durable so there's that I had to share with you guys because I thought you guys would like it also I wanted to show you guys some of my ball joint doll stuff because I've been going through it and just yeah I didn't realize how much stuff I had till I started going through it oh yeah one other thing I got this week I got a llama look how cute her name's Priscilla that's my little llama girl so I wanted to show you guys that and uh, I was gonna I'll show you some ball joint doll stuff here in a minute and I've been told that 
the way I do my filming because I don't I don't edit I don't do any of that I I um, it's called what they call it gorilla gorilla filming gorilla style and meaning that I shoot from the hip I give my first impression on everything it's not scripted I don't edit I just tell you what I think and let it go and I don't you know it's a it's I do it for me and I do it for you guys and I don't care if people don't like my production quality and whatnot I like it I do it because I enjoy it and apparently some of you guys enjoy it too so I'm not gonna change it really you know, unless something bad happens, but I don't see that happening. Um, I do it for, mostly for me, and I'm just glad that there are people out there who like to watch my videos. I thank each and every one of you. I love all of you for watching and putting up and listening to me babble on forever in a day. And I'm sorry about the mess of my room. I have a dog, as you guys have seen, Lou. Um, I'm his caregiver, and he's completely insane, and he'll just do these mad dash runs and just destroy my bed. So, further note hand, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I have that I've been going through. I I bought these boots, which are actually really good boots for dolls, for my ball joint dolls. However, they are great boots, but they don't fit any of my guys. And I tried them on my girl. They just look ridiculous. So I have these boots that I'm never going to get to use. Paid 30 bucks for those. Then I have these boots. They're all these, I guess you call them loafers. With the heels. Really good quality. That's what I love about ball joint doll stuff is super high quality. Real working buckles and snaps and zippers. And real laces. Got those. <laughs> I got these. Uh, I bought these at my first and only ball joint doll meetup I ever went to. I went to one. I felt really, really, really out of place. Um, not that the people were mean. They were actually really, really sweet. It's just I was the oldest person there. They were all like high school and junior high school and first year of college and then there was me and <laughs> they were all young girls and guys and I don't know I just I felt I felt like a senior citizen trying to hang out with high school students it felt really awkward and it was fun but still awkward and I got these little boots there they're like little Timberlands they are real. They are real suede, and then cotton laces, heels, the whole thing. Whole nine yards. They don't fit any of my dolls. Well, they fit. They fit uh, Mr. Skullhead, but you know he's wearing kind of a preppy, preppy boy, schoolboy thing with boots, with like long, high boots with like skulls and crosses on them. These just wouldn't fit the style. And then I have my. Eiffel House tank top. I think it's a bit too small for me, but um, this used to go on one of my guys who now, as of last night, he's just wearing a pair of underwear and no wig. And I took photos saying, Calvin Klein models eat your heart out. Because he looks pretty dang good. And these are his his uh, yoga pants, male yoga pants I have for him. Eiffel House does amazing work. It has real functioning drawstrings real pockets to keep his hands in if he needs to they're just they're really good quality Eiffel House I-P-L-E-H-O-U-S-E -E. and they're just really nice and then comes to my wigs now my big girl Corina this is one of her wigs I always have her in it right now she's wearing because she's kind of in her casual she's just wearing jeans heels and a, and a just a, a polka dot top she's wearing a purple wig but this is her pretty much constant wig this is one of my favorite wigs it reminds me of a waterfall i don't know how well it shows up on camera but it goes from dark blue to like like aquamarine and green it's all it's like three different colors in one super thick super soft lush hair um 
you don't have a ton of hair that falls out of it. You can brush it and brush it and brush it and everything. And no, you don't lose any hair on this wig. And I, I love it for that. And then you can just, it's super easy to style. There's that one. And then I have my, my male emo wig, as I call it. And none of my guys wear it and none of my girls wear it. Because the bangs hang down to like right here. So you have like this whole Sia, however you say her name, thing going on for it. And it just doesn't work for me. And then, see there's some of my boy wigs. This is just a blonde wig. And a really choppy redhead wig that looks okay on my big bald guy I have right now. Then I have this, it's called, I looked it up and it's called Frosted Magenta. And it's kind of like this crimped, wavy, super, super fluffy wig. But if you like smooth it all down, it's not very thick, but it just looks very full. Even if you just lay it out, it has a lot of bounce to it. it smells really good too. Because <laughs> I wash it with really good conditioner. Some say you shouldn't wash ball joint doll wigs with conditioner. But this hair was kind of dry. And I let, let, put a leave-in conditioner and it made all the difference in the world for her. So save that wig. And on other and on other ball joint doll news, I have I guess it's not bad news. It's not great news for me, but my little cat girl here. Like I love her. I have a love-hate relationship with her. I love her. But honestly, I have no idea what to do with her i i've tr i've dressed her i've played with her it's just i feel so bad because she just stands there naked off to the corner on her own and it's not that like i say it's not that i hate her or anything i just don't know what to do with her uh i'm not used to ball joint dolls this this size and this small i don't I like them bigger normally and when I when I was initially buying her and this is my fault my stupidity I didn't really read into the sizing a friend of mine has her I didn't know that they came and um, I thought I thought it was 43 centimeters which is 17 inches tall it's not she is roughly about about 12, 12 and a half inches tall, about the same size as a vintage gem doll or Darcy. And I just don't know what to do with her. She can't really wear a lot of clothes. She can wear some really stretchy Barbie clothes, but only dresses. Cause she has she has she has some she has a, some hips on her. So I don't know if I should keep her or trade her off or or what. I just I feel really, really bad. So, yeah, there's that whole thing. And this is what I was talking about. This is my uh, my male, my big male, one of my males. He's just, he's now like a Calvin Klein model. He just kind of hangs out there in his chone since last night. Oh, and I gave all the other guys dolls and toys to play with. And there's my girl, my big girl, Karina. In her casual outfit with her belly chain and her purple wig. Everyone else, lacrimosas, just stand there back there brooding because, you know, that's what he does. He's one of those. And there's Mr. Skullhead, the bane of my existence, my mermaid girl, who, another one that I. Oh, she's, 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 she's a pain in the ass. She's pretty, but she's a diva. Um, I want to kill her, but I love her at the same time. And then there's my little werewolf boy who I have not yet named, which I feel terrible. Love him. And there's a little Miss Zombie. So there are some of my ball joint dolls and some of the stuff I found over the weekend. I want to thank you guys for allowing me to into your home and to share my findings with you. And thank, ev thank everybody for all the kindness and support and love you guys show. And just say I love you guys and I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead of you try to keep positive don't let the haters get you down because I'm trying my best not to 
and just enjoy life. Love you guys.